Hey guys, welcome back. This is Roger from Made Possible Personal Training and we recently had a problem come up where we kept getting emails bounced back to us. Um, it kept getting blocked by Gmail. We use Google Workspaces to do all our emailing and every time we send it to specific clients, we kept getting bounced back saying message blocked. So the clients weren't getting the emails. We weren't able to send out the emails. So it was creating a big problem. We had to do a couple of bypasses, but it wasn't working um, overall. And I started diving deep into this and it's a big problem. It took me about a month to solve, um, to figure out, which I know is slow, but I'm not a technology guy. So I figured this video might help some of you guys solve it a lot faster than I could. After I solved it, I solved it in 45 minutes. You might be able to solve it in 10 minutes after watching this video. But the problem was that I wasn't able to, to figure out how the heck to change the SPF or DKIM or in another one DMARC um, on which kind of allows you to filter through the messages and not be spammed or blocked. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today and hope this helps anybody out. That every time we send an email to a specific Gmail user, it was four or five different clients, we kept getting immediately bounced back to this type of mail. Um, delivery by Google, it was automatic, nothing went through, um, we couldn't get in contact with that client. I uh, kept saying message blocked, your message has been blocked, you see technical details. Like I told you, I am not a techie guy. I'm not very technological savvy compared to other people. Uh, so I try to deal with this myself. Um, it says it's unauthenticated. What the problem was here is basically Google seeing us as a threat to other users. So it wouldn't allow the message to go through. Um, it was saying something about SPF or DKIM. So what I did is I clicked on what it, it had me go to which essentially brought me to this webpage from Google saying how to um, go over SPF record, um, don't even know what that means, and go over DR, uh, DMARC and DKM. Um, it told me about example SPF record and descriptions and IP addresses, which I've, I have no idea what all that means. So essentially, I'm gonna show you what I did to it, be able to solve this problem. To go over to domain, domains.google.com and I had to go into the DNS registration right here. Um, which meant that I have to go looking for the DNS settings, which I'm gonna give you this on the bottom of my link. Um, what I had to do is go over name servers, but I had to go to default name server instead of custom. So it automatically brings you to custom. You gotta go to default name servers, and here's where it starts. You gotta go into, it's gonna show you like custom records. So you go to custom records, you go to manage custom records, and here you're gonna create a new record. For the create a new record, you're gonna type this stuff that I'm gonna give you. So for the SPF, which we find right here, you're gonna leave it blank, right, the name. You're gonna find the type, and you're gonna find TXT, and then from here, you're gonna copy and paste this guy into here, which is the V equals SPF one include. Like I said, I'm gonna leave a copy of this and you're gonna click save, right? That's the first step. Step what we're gonna take care of is of the DKIM, right? So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna go over to your Google workspaces and you get there by going to admin.google.com. You're gonna log in. It's gonna bring you to your dashboard. From here, you're gonna go over to your sidebar on the left-hand side. You're gonna go over to the applications or apps, Google workspace, and here you're gonna click on Gmail because that's what we wanna change. Once you click on Gmail, you're gonna find the authenticate email and it's gonna bring you to the DKIM settings. And once we're in the DKIM settings, we're gonna to try to generate a new setting. So you're gonna open it you're gonna generate new record, and from here is gonna ask you for 2048. You're gonna leave that click, and we're gonna move on to the next step. Here, we're gonna copy and paste these two things coming up here. So basically, as you can see on the DKIM side, your Google domain key is the same one here, and then you're gonna take your long text in the bottom of that gray, all this, you're gonna copy and paste it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna get rid of all this. We're gonna copy and paste it into our our, uh, we go back to our Google domains, we're gonna create a new record, and we're gonna take our domain key, we're gonna type it as our name, now we're gonna type our type as txt, and then we're gonna copy the long version of that long um, gray part over here. We're gonna click save over here, um, it's gonna save it, but before we do that, we're gonna do our DMARC, uh, so we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna create a new record, we're gonna write our DMARC, underscore DMARC as our name, so I'm just gonna copy and paste here, underscore DMARC, you're gonna keep your type at TXT, everything we leave at 3600, that was original, I had to move that around, and then you're gonna copy, go back to this note, I'm gonna copy and paste this guy, it's gonna be, for you guys, it's gonna be different, so in your case, it might be um, your name, let's say my name is Roger, at uh, my email, 
let's say impossiblept.com and for you it's going to be whatever it is for you and then you're going to click save my Google workspaces and I'm going to go back to that um, DKIM setting and I'm going to start authentication and I get this clear message about 48 hours uh, for DNS to update but however when I did it I sent an email right away and it worked right away it didn't bounce back and it sent emails to all my clients that it wasn't going through so I hope that helps and I hope you guys get cleared up if you have any questions please comment below and if you found this helpful let us know and uh, hit the like button